Greetings YouTube, what's up? Uh, this is more for the regulars I suppose. I just wanted to make a quick video of this because I got the motor in for the first time and you will see we have some serious anglage which is <clears throat> caused by this plate which must have obviously got bent uh, during welding. It's not a big disaster because there's enough room. If you look at how the two nuts are on here and we've got a little bit of space and we'll just should just have enough room to get that nut in. Uh, we could just uh, level up that side somehow with some bolts or something, but it's going to cause extra stress on here. So this will have to be uh, cut a groove there with the grinder and then bend it in a bit and then just re-weld it, maybe weld it with the motor in there. You can see I've got a lot of clearance. Now these, I may not end up using these. I was going to, but I don't think I will be. So that can now go. You can see the motor turns and there's no, no noise. The, the next job is to try and find, I've got an 18 tooth gear cog, which needs to be connected to here, which is where the brake disc would go. And I have to have it that way because of the wire coming out this end. We don't want the wire coming from this end of the motor round the moving motor. And interestingly, I know I've explained it before, but a couple of things I really like about these motors. Firstly, they're uh, fixed either end you can fix them either end whereas with a normal motor it's just it would be the spindle sticking out here with the blades on it but that gives it a lot more stability and yeah I, I was I'm in an iron about whether to have it at the back or at the front but I think I'm going to go with it at the front uh, this has kind of got wedged in for now and uh, it's going to be a bit of a mission getting it out but the wire is basically obviously going to come straight out the turbine and go straight down there. Lovely jubbly. There's uh, still quite a few things uh, I'm sort of going through in my mind about what to do, but basically the uh, front bearing will have to go here, or maybe even I may even put a plate and have the front bearing coming off here. And then, yeah, so we're gonna have one bearing at the front, one bearing here, and then one bearing at the back, and then the chain assembly malarkey will be down there. So it's not really progress, but I just wanted to show you where it'll go. And obviously this needs to be parallel to this, which it, it isn't, but it is easily sortable. So anyway, I'll give you an update when I get any progress. Sweet.